Here's a model of the bony labyrinth of the inner ear. It is called the labyrinth because it is so complex in shape. You can divide this bony labyrinth into three regions, however. One region which begins right over here and then coils like a snail's shell is called the cochlea. And this region right over here, which is kind of like the entrance way into the cochlea, is called the vestibule. And then extending from the vestibule, there are three hoops which are semicircular, and these are called the semicircular canals. This one over here, which is closest to the cochlea, is the anterior semicircular canal. This one over here is the posterior semicircular canal. And this one that's added horizontal compared to these two is the lateral semicircular canal. Here is another view of the semicircular canals. This one right over here is the anterior semicircular canal. This one over here is the posterior canal. And this one is the lateral one. All three of them are extending from the vestibule. Notice that at one end of each of these semicircular canals, the semicircular canal is enlarged. And this enlarged region right over here and over here and over here are referred to as the ampullae, which is plural for ampulla. So inside the bony labyrinth, you have a membranous labyrinth. The membranous labyrinth mirrors in shape what you see in the bony labyrinth. So for example, the membranous labyrinth within the semicircular canal is a semicircular hoop. And in the region right over here, this is the ampulla of the membranous labyrinths. And the ampulla is significant because the sensory structure, which is going to detect angular acceleration or rotation in space, is going to be located right over here. And you can see that because there are nerves that are exiting from that location. So here you can see the ampulla of this anterior semicircular canal. Here you can see within the vestibule, there are two sacs. You have above, you have the utricle, and below you have the saccule. This is also a location where there is sensory information being processed.